The Sacramento Kings have had some pretty low draft credibility in recent memory, and they're known as the team that's always one pick away from greatness. In 2011, they picked Jimmer Ferdet one pick before Klay Thompson. In 2012, they drafted Thomas Robinson one selection before Damian Lillard. And their biggest draft blunder came in 2018 when they drafted Marvin Bagley III over Luka Doncic. I didn't want Luka. Oh boy. Can someone please check on that poor Kings fan? Because not only is Luka Doncic better than Marvin Bagley, he's one of the 10 best players in basketball right now. So this year, when the Kings took Iowa forward Keegan Murray over explosive Purdue guard Jaden Ivey, people started to already say the Kings were yet again one pick away. But the Kings might have proved us all wrong. Last trade deadline, the Kings made a win-now move to acquire DeMontis Sabonis from the Indiana Pacers. Despite this, the Kings still missed the play-in tournament, so Kings GM Monte McNair knew he had his offseason cut out for him. The Kings had the fourth overall pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, and with Paulo, Chet, and Jabari being the clear-cut top three selections, Purdue guard Jaden Ivey was slotted to go fourth to the Kings in most mocks, and it made sense. Ivey was the best player on a Purdue squad that went 29-8 and this past season, while Ivey averaged 17 points, about 5 rebounds on 46% from the field and 36% from deep, and he also drew comparisons to that of Ja Morant and Donovan Mitchell. However, there was one problem, and it was Jaden Ivey's questionable fit in Sacramento. The Kings already had two young guards in De'Aaron Fox and Davion Mitchell, and there probably wouldn't be room for a third, as the Kings once had three at one point before they eventually decided to trade Tyrese Halliburton. The other problem was the fact that Jaden Ivey didn't even want the Kings to draft him. He didn't work out for the Kings during pre-draft workouts, and a report came out saying that Ivey said the Kings were not his preferred destination. But this didn't really scare the Kings too much because the front office was already believed to have their guy in Keegan Murray. GM Monty McNair and owner Vivek Ranadive were in awe over Murray's talents as the Iowa product was coming off a season where he ever 23 and a half points, almost nine boards, two blocks, 1.3 steals on about 55 and a half percent from the field and 40 percent from three. Murray was truly a beast and he'd fit in perfectly with Sacramento because not only do they need more front court players, but Murray was perceived by most scouts to be the most NBA ready prospect in the draft and with the Kings going in a win now direction, Murray would be perfect. So when draft day came, the Kings didn't give in to the Jaden Ivey hype and they took their guy in Keegan Murray with the fourth overall pick. Following the draft's conclusion, it was reported that the Kings front office unanimously decided on Keegan Murray, saying he was the best prospect available even with Ivy still on the board. So naturally, with Ivy being one of the more hyped prospects, the Kings immediately faced backlash as Murray was already being compared to previous Kings busts. But Murray would have the opportunity to prove some haters wrong during the NBA Summer League, and he'd actually have an earlier chance than most prospects due to the fact that he was drafted by a California team. Before the big 30 team summer league there's a california classic which features the kings warriors lakers and heat for whatever reason and the kings would face the warriors in game one of the california classic and it would be tough for sacramento as golden state had one of the best summer league teams but keegan murray did not care murray looked like a man amongst boys during his summer league debut getting virtually any look he wanted against the warrior defense while dropping 26 points and 8 rebounds on 71 percent shooting from the field and 80 percent shooting from deep en route to an 86 68 blowout win over the warriors the Kings would then proceed by destroying the Heat the very next game with a lopsided 81-64 victory. Murray did struggle in this game, only scoring 9 points on 4 of 15 shooting, but he still recorded a near double-double with 9 boards as well. After a poor performance against the Heat, Murray woke back up the next game, leading the Kings to an 87-75 victory over the LA Lakers in the final game of the California Classic. Murray put together 24 points, 7 boards, and 3 steals on a very efficient 56% from the field and 50% from three, not to mention the Kings went undefeated over the course of the California Classic. So despite the small sample size, things looked promising for Murray. Murray and the Kings' true test will be July 9th in their opening summer league game against the Orlando Magic, led by the number one overall pick, Paulo Bancaro. But as of right now, the Kings look like they made the right pick. 
as he's not only a good fit, but he's very talented as well. I'm not saying he's better than Jaden Ivey, I'm just saying he's better for the Kings than Ivey would have been. But now let's address the Kings' win now desires. So the question is, can the Kings crack a top 10 spot and make the play-in tournament next season? And to be honest, I don't know. As much as I've liked their offseason moves and the Mike Brown hiring, the West is competitive. 10 teams make the NBA play-in tournament, right? Well, I'll give you 8 locks right here in the Suns, Grizzlies, Warriors, Mavs, T-Wolves, Pelicans, and Clippers. You also have the Lakers, who can be a great team if they can just stay healthy, and remember, they still have LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Plus, there's the Blazers, who return a healthy Damian Lillard next season, along with their new acquisition of Jeremy Grant, so you know Portland's going to be back in that conversation. And then you've got Utah, who yes, lost Rudy Gobert, but you've got to imagine Donovan Mitchell can still backpack that team to a top 10 seed, right? And just like that, there's 11 teams. So while I do give the Kings a shot to crack a top 10 seed next season, it's going to be extremely tough. But in the end, people just judged Keegan Murray way too soon, so let's at least see how Summer League and the regular season go and find out if the Kings really did make the right pick. But as of right now, it's looking good. But that's the end of the video. Kings fans, let me know how you feel about Keegan Murray as a prospect and if you like him more than Jaden Ivey. Personally, if I was a Kings fan, I'd be feeling really good about Keegan Murray right about now, but that's just my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed. And with all that being said, peace.